I really hate making videos challenge day number 94. So I said I'd be dropping some fire today. I'm not dropping a vid of me playing guitar or playing some other instrument. I'm going to drop some knowledge. Okay, check this out. All of us lead guitar players are just like, I want to be the fastest. I want to be, I want to know all the skills, all the moves. I don't know what that was in my beard. I think it's milk. Um, I want to be the most knowledgeable, you know, the most skilled, etc. and so forth. Just compliment the song. Like, just compliment the song. That's, that's all we're supposed to be doing. If you, you know, you, you make it a point to sit down and like learn all this like crazy stuff for you because it sounds cool. And then it makes you sound like a better guitar player and it makes it easier for you to play shows. If that's the kind of guitar player you are. If you're a hobbyist and you're just learning John Mayer or like Steve Vai for fun and you never really plan on doing anything with it, hey, what power to you? But just compliment the song, you know? Get all the gear you want, get all the tone you want, get all that stuff, you know? Be the best guitar player that you can be. Like, I spend most of my time before... Like, I play a show thinking about what can I do to sound better? Not not faster, not any of that other stuff. Like, what can I do to sound better in a situation where I don't know what's going on? And then that's what I try to practice. It's things that I don't understand in songs. If I understand the entire song and I don't understand one part of it, then I practice that part of it until I get it. Then I get the entire song. Then I can solo over the song freely. Some weird jazz tune and it's got like a key change in it. Then I practice that just that key change section over and over and over again. Then I learn the chord that leads back to whatever key it is originally, and then I understand the entire song. And then there's no problem at all transposing. There's no problem at all conveying that information to someone else that doesn't understand. As a lead guitar player, I've learned that I'm also a music director. I'm a rhythm guitar player. Uh, I'm a bass player, and I have to tell bass players what notes if they don't know if I'm playing with someone and they don't know the tunes as well as I do, then I'm an MD. So understand that as a lead player it's not as much about how much you play it's when you play and i feel like the whole you know you got to be disciplined to be like a good lead player i feel like there's like levels of discipline where people know how good they are and what they're capable of and they don't have to show it and i feel like it's more impressive whenever i play a gig and i don't necessarily show what i'm capable of but i give them like a little sample and then I just kind of keep it moving. I'm like, all right, here's some crazy tapping thing I'm working on. Tap, 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 tap. Sweep, 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 sweep. Legato, legato. All right, back to the melody. And I've learned that from Nick Johnson, and it's been very beneficial for my guitar playing. So find your direction and walk that direction, whatever direction that is.